What is the most pressing issue slash conflict in the Big Brother house at the moment? I'm feeling a lot of sort of division in the house into the two sort of groups. And I know we're all guilty of sort of being comfortable with the people we're comfortable with and staying there. For me, the bigger pressing issues is people's bias being ignored. And also I have realised that we're more graceful towards certain people. And we tend to also normalise some people's pain because we expect them to be strong. And we'd be more understanding towards other people because they seem more vulnerable. I face a lot of biasness, I have to say, quite openly. And it's... It's been quite painful to see how few people are on my side or how few people speak up for me. That's something that's popped up since um, Paul has left. That Friday, I felt so much anger. Olivia, Tom, Chanel, Jenkin expressed the frustration about Paul um, towards me. I saw on my side and there was nobody. I had a village, but that day, that night, I had nobody by my side. I think I've been judged a lot for one, being loud, one, expressing my views, um, for one, reacting to things that have said to, uh, been said to me even behind closed doors. Whereas I think other people have been able to express that, like when I think Dylan had tried to imply that I shouldn't talk so much or else I'd be seen as an angry black woman. It seems like everybody has okayed it or is like, just ignore it. But I can't keep ignoring it because just because it's passive doesn't mean it's not hurtful. Mm. And just because I'm strong doesn't mean that I need to come, always keep going through it. And so um, that's what I mean in terms of the biasness I face. It's very microaggression, but it's very real to me. I want to say I'm completely sorry for that. If I'm going to end up hurting someone else because of my cowardice, that's not okay. So I just want to say I'm really sorry, Trish. I think sometimes I'm guilty of seeing you as this strong woman who, who's all good. And I shouldn't, because I know you have your struggles too. There used to be a time where being called a strong woman was such a big compliment. Um, but I think in adulthood, as a black woman, you start to realise that um, often it means you, you can be left to it. You're quite good. People assume you're good. I need to kind of remember that as well, that I don't always have to be strong. What hurts is when people don't want to challenge their own thoughts and really assess why they're doing it. They expect me to understand that that's just the way things are. I'm not OK with that. I'm sorry, Trish. I'm sorry, Trish, as well. Thank you.